Hello and welcome to another video. Today is going to be squat session. I'm not going to go heavy today, so I'll work up to three plates. And once I reach three plates, I'll do uh, three sets of six to eight repetitions. And then after that, I will drop the weight to 120 kilograms and then go to failure one set and go to failure on that. And that's it for the squat session. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and ring the notification bell below. With that said, let's get started. I won't take the shoes off and I won't start using the belt until I reach the working weight. And, and as you all already know, so that's because um, I'd like to lift decent weight uh, without any assistance whatsoever, without any rear, knee wraps, any belt, and just regular shoes on really. So, I'm not going to use the clips just yet because I want to check whether or not the plates move as I go up and down. And um, if that is what happens, then that means that the form is not correct. So basically, just as you go up and down, the weight should not move. If it doesn't, that means that you have the correct form. Now, you need to be careful when you unrack it because that's when the weights, the plates will move. All right, almost there, warm up almost completed. I have a new challenge now that's 200 kilograms squat, 440 pounds. But I am giving myself uh, plenty of time for that. I'm not in a rush, I'm not preparing for any competition. So I'm just uh, doing this for fun and um, I, will, I share my experience so other people out there then can avoid making the same mistakes I made, especially when it came to squat and deadlift. All right, so this one here is 140 kilograms, and I'll do a double, no belt, no knee wraps or anything, just completely raw, just to get the feel of the weight. However, I will use the clips now because I don't really want to be thinking now that is the weight moving or anything. The, <laughs> the, the last thing I want to do is when squatting or doing any exercise is think. The only thinking I want to be doing is keep the form correct. <laughs> 
All right. Now, it's time to get serious. Shoes come off, trainers, whatever you want to call them, and belt comes on. I, I like to use the minimum assistance possible, so just the belt. And even uh, the belt, of course, I use it for set when I'm doing sets and reps, but if I'm doing a couple or a triple, I usually, whatever the working weight for that set is, I usually do a couple or three reps of that working weight without any belt or any wraps whatsoever. Just to know that I can do that if I am in a situation where I have to lift that weight. I can do it without any assistance. All right, so now enough talking and let's start working. First set done, uh, I stopped at six there because the program is six to eight, of course. I don't want to force to waste all the energy on the first set because there are two more. I will take anywhere between three to five minutes of break. So that sounds like quite a lot, right? But the heavier the weight gets, the longer the breaks will be because the body is not ready and you will need a few minutes to recover to be ready for the next uh, for the next set because you can either if the body is not ready you will either compromise the form or you don't get the amount of reps you want and if you compromise the form then you risk injury so there are all kind of bad things that come with that for me, that seems to work anywhere between three to five minutes. Now, when I'm doing heavier weights, of course, I take a little longer break, anywhere between five to eight minutes. Sounds, sounds strange, right? Because uh, in reality, you're doing, let's say you're doing six to eight reps and you will be done with, with those reps in 30 seconds, 45 seconds, or let's say in definitely less than a minute, right? but you're taking five to eight minutes of break. So basically three sets, you will be working for 30 minutes and taking 20 minutes break. It, when you put it that way, it doesn't really make sense, right? Because you're just resting for 20 minutes and just working for 30 minutes. But that's how muscles work. So if you deliver, if you deliver that shock to the muscle, then that's what muscle wants. It wants that um, tension. That's the only language the muscle understands, tension. All right, here we go, the second set.
Right. Second set done. Uh, I kept the camera here because I want to see how is the depth. Usually I'd like to do deep squats. And uh, of course they're way much more difficult uh, than, than parallel squats. So if you think in terms of parallel, uh, let me stop the other camera. So if you think in terms of parallel squat and deep squat, so let's take a look here. So that would be a parallel squat, right? Which is acceptable, it's great. Now, these are the squats I like to do. So, think of it this way, one rep of parallel squat, a rep and a half. So, <laughs> if you're doing deep squats, you're doing, compared to parallel squat, that's uh, a rep and a half. So, if you're doing six reps, if you were to compare it to parallel squats, you're probably doing eight to nine reps. So, that's why I recommend that do deep squats. And you can start with light weight. That's what I did when I started. I started with light weight and I just trained my muscles uh, to do deep squats. And the weight shouldn't be a factor when you're working out. Whatever challenging weight is to you, that is heavy weight. So, don't worry about what other people are lifting in the gym. I keep saying this in every video. Uh, it's never really about the weight. Uh, and it's never really about the weight of other people lifting. So, why would you care? I don't care what other people are doing and how much weight they're lifting. So, you shouldn't care about that. Just uh, find the weight that's challenging to you and get the form right and then do uh, a decent amount of reps. And that's it, that should be the primary goal. So if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and ring the notification bell below. All right, so now this is the last set. Because I have another set on a lighter weight after this, of course I'm not going to go to failure on this one. I'm going to stop at five. The fourth rep, I was leaning a little forward, which consumed quite a little bit of energy to get that. That's a split second thing though, but it does consume quite a little bit of energy. So I was, I was leaning forward, so I was trying to correct my form and re-brace. And, and I thought, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop then at the at five, which is still good, so not bad. I still have another set on 120 kilograms, and those are going to be completely raw, so I don't need the belt anymore. Now, I don't use the belt for any other exercises than squats and deadlifts. 
I do overhead presses. Sometimes I may use the belt, some, but quite rarely. So probably I should use it uh, because my overhead press max is 80 kilograms for four reps, I think. But anyway, it's not really important. So what is important is that it's, uh, it's 80 kilograms regardless of the re uh, reps. And I would like to increase it to 100 kilograms. These are challenges, little challenges that I set for myself. Because as soon as I set the challenges for myself, the thinking completely changed. My program changed. So you, you, you'd be surprised. The motivation was higher. So you'd be surprised. So that's why I recommend set the, the challenge that's achievable, of course. Because I'm realistic. I'm not going to say that I'm going to deadlift more than Eddie Hall or Hafta or Bjorzen. So set a challenge that you actually, it's realistic for you to achieve it and then work towards that. So do, so what I was doing, as I mentioned before, is that I would either, with each session, I would either increase the weight anywhere between five to 10 kilograms or I would increase the amount of reps. And that's how my deadlift and squat started actually improving. Now, I think I've had quite enough break. Let's take these two plates off. All right, so now this is 120 kilograms, <coughs> completely raw. And I'll try to do to do them as fast as possible and as many as possible. All right, that was seven reps, I believe. It's a little hard to go to failure on squats. Hack squats would be better if you can go to failure on those because there is a lock mechanism built into the machine. Whereas here, there is no lock mechanism. The only thing you can do is just drop the weight. But anyway, so that was it for the squat session today. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoy content like this, Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more content. And I will see you in the next workout session.